Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode on the Justin channel. Happy and sad situation. It's time to go back to school for the spring semester. Welcome to the corner of the back room. I think personally it gets easier the more that you like leave home, the more frequently you do it. And for those who don't know, last year we wound up getting sent home early just after our spring break, which it worked out because my parents are down in Florida with me for spring break and I just went home with them and I stayed home and it was really cool. But hopefully it will not happen again this year. And to be completely honest with you, as excited as I am to head back to school to start the next adventure, it is really sad leaving my family and my friends. I think what, what kills me most is like seeing parents sad, you know? And of course, the point of this video is not to get philosophical, but for those listening and those who are going to college, uh, make sure that you spend as much time with your family that you possibly can and enjoy every moment that you have with them. There's so many uncertainties in life, and leaving home is definitely a big one of them. But that's not the point of this video. I, I like to be positive and have a good time. So I'm here to bring you on an adventure of uh, going back down to school with my friend Phil. You guys have met Phil before, I'm pretty sure. After two hours and 45 minutes, Phil finally got to go to the bathroom. As I do best, I'm last minute packing. It is 11.58, Phil and I are leaving at 4.30, so I will be promptly stopping at Wawa down the street to get a bang. I was just going through some stuff and you would not imagine what I just found. In other news, local resident Justin Brown only has a few hours left to complete packing for college. And yet he continues to goof off. Oh my gosh, this is from a long while ago. I think it fits perfectly fine. I just read the label inside, it's meant for an infant slash toddler. Early the next morning. And just like that, it's morning time. How much fun is this when you're half asleep? This just sucks. <laughs> Oh, it was easy because I had to take the whole thing off and I'm dumping them and he fell out. Yeah, they're fast. Just like I said. Just like their father. <laughs> yeah, see that? So, like, I have TikTok and I found this. Did you say hello? <laughs> TikTok things, whether they work or not. Somebody said, drop an egg on an angle onto the, the pan and. It'll like work. You don't have to. I'm too tired for this. I'm sorry. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Hey, there's shell. <laughs> I it worked when I did it the other day. I give that like a an 85. I'll give that an 85. I gotta pick shell out of a hot pan now. Hello, kids. Yeah, I tried. I got putalilas. Take care of the Florida. We are somewhere at a gas station in Santee, uh, South Carolina. And I will say, Santee, good job. Your bathrooms are actually clean and I can appreciate that. Mom, you would approve. And that's saying something. <laughs> Update on the fish. They're doing well. Probably really unhappy, but they'll be home soon. like that we've arrived in the dorm for those wondering yes i successfully got the fish tank working and the fish will be fine hello comet i will tell you this it is the absolute weirdest thing being the only one here i'm one of the only ones in the hallway nick's not here our sweet mates next door are not here 
it's like awkwardly silent. I can hear a pin drop and it's kind of freaky, not gonna lie. Guys, it is so weird being here like this early. There's absolutely nothing going on here. There's parking spots. There's the Wi-Fi works. Like it's crazy, guys. Like anybody that goes here knows this area is usually filled with people like all the time. There's nobody here. It's so weird.